Again, good morning to you, Black Wolf. To God be the glory. Here we are again in the land of the dying, on our way to the land of the living. I pray that you stop to thank, tell God thank you on this day because he woke us up this morning. He didn't have to do it, but I'm so glad that he did. You know, God is so awesome until there's things about himself that God himself has never seen. God has never seen a situation that he can't handle. God has never seen a sinner that, could, that, that he couldn't save. God has never seen a substitute for his son. And God has never seen a sinner save himself. God has never seen, my brothers and sisters, some things about himself to where David had to chime in and say, I've been young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor the seed beg bread. You know, the God we serve is an awesome God, and it's a, I'm just glad to be here on this day. Our message today comes from Mark chapter 14, verse 36, and it says, And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me, nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou will. And I want to talk about today with all of this going on in our world and all of this going on in, in this country, I want to talk about dealing with a bad situation. We're dealing with a situation that's really bad. And what is really bad is what is a really bad situation? Life-threatening situations are really bad. Killing young black men for no reason at all. Bring our very existence into question. Financial disasters, our nation under this pandemic, the dissolution of a relationship, imprisonment, or failing health. These are all examples of bad situations. Each of them creates an uneasy, disturbing feeling on the inside, my brothers and sisters. What can make matters worse is the fact that sometimes situations look just as bad as it feels. And we are in a situation that need all, we need all the help that we can get right now. Sometimes the bad situation would be easier to deal with if we could keep it from looking as bad as well. Even my brothers and sisters, even simple things feel worse when they look bad too. If we run a red light, we feel bad that we broke the law. But when the police officer pulls us over and keeps his life flashing on us, the whole while he's giving us this ticket, the situation is bad and it starts looking bad too. A person who's been injured feels pretty bad. There is pain all over their body. However, they feel even worse when the doctor walks in and says, I'm going to tell you straight, it looks pretty bad. That's what can be called a bad situation. Politicians and major corporations, they hire public relations specialists whose job is to keep a bad situation from looking bad. They are called what we call spin doctors. These are people who are good at putting a good face on a bad situation. If, they, if, if an oil barge has leaked a million gallons of oil, the, oil, the spin doctor will let you know that it has all been contained. But even though nothing will live in those waters for years, at least it does not look as bad as it sounds. Amen? The president says this pandemic is under control. But people are dying by the hundreds each and every day. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, a bad situation with a spin on it. The idea is that not all is not all bad. If, 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 if it could be made to be look better than it actually is, a bad situation and a look bad situation is what you call a double whammy. Some folks go to the mall when they feel bad. They come home with new items. It means they were feeling pretty bad. 
And if they come home with about a dozen pairs of shoes, six new dresses, and a new hairdo, they will be looking good, but their husband will be feeling bad, really bad. And as Christians, my brothers and sisters, we have learned that life often gives bad situations that must be endured. We can't avoid them because our Savior could not avoid them. We drink from our cup, endure our circumstances, and know that in the end, God's will, not our will, has to be done. If we do what God wants, in the end, in the end, we will always be blessed no matter what the circumstances are. How bad is the situation? Oh, my brothers and my sisters, in this text today, it's focused on Jesus Christ. He has dealt with the situation that, that was bad. The occasion was just prior to his crucifixion. In prayer, Christ came to grips that the painful reality of what he had to do uh, was getting ready to happen. The law required that the shedding of blood for the forgiveness of sin. Animals were being used to achieve this purpose. Jesus himself, according to God's plan, would become the ultimate sacrifice that would make it possible for him to offer salvation to all who would recognize him. However, the full meaning of sacrifice had not become real until this particular time. Now, the terror of the crucifixion and his attendant, uh, attendant of humiliation were becoming clear. Crucifixions were the method in those days of punishment, my brothers and sisters, for the enemies of the state in Jesus' time. That was anything but a good situation. According to Holman, the accused was beaten with the whip, and the table de de detailing what crime was often placed around their neck to the cross, and it made it even worse. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, then they added insult to injury. The, the accused person's body was left to rotten for days, with the bird allowing to desecrate the corpse further. In the light of the terror and the horror of the crucifixion, Jesus did two things. First thing he did was he talked to his father and he accepted his will. His conversation with the father was, a, was more emptying of the soul than anything else because Jesus was fully aware of the plan. He was fully aware that his death would provide redemption for mankind. But he sought another way to achieve this end, short of capital. He told the father how he felt. Yet, while he was describing his hesitancy to go to Calvary, he also told of his willingness to do his father's will. But oh, my brothers and my sisters, he concluded his prayer with the decision to carry out the father's will rather than his will. Calvary was a, a bad situation. But Jesus faced it, endured it because it was the Father's will. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, in the end, he rose victorious over all of his critics and his enemies. He rose to be to a better situation because he was willing to endure a bad situation for God. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, since we all, uh, we are believers, we are all human. We face every problem that anyone else in the world faces. We have family problems. We have health problems. We have financial problems. And other difficulty that comes like bumps in the road of life. The difference between a believer and a non-believer is how we handle the situation. Rejoicing in spite of our circumstances. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, looking good, but in a bad situation. It is possible to look good, but be in a bad situation. Looks, my brothers and sisters, are deceiving. Often we see neighbors and co-workers who, who live in fine houses, drive beautiful automobiles, wear the finest of clothes, yet we are 
surprised at the time to learn of how so many who come to work dressed to kill, but are in a bad situation. Many are troubled, many are distressed, many are frustrated and afraid, and the fine appearance of some acts as a thin veil, my brothers and sisters, that hides the terror or pain they feel on the inside. Looking good, but in a bad situation can be a, a difficult thing. David had such a situation after he had committed adultery with Bathsheba uh, and, and arranged the death of her husband. He tried to resume his kingly duties as usual. Oh, my brothers and sisters, he put on his finest clothes. He sat on his big old throne. To any observer, he looked good, but he was disturbed on the inside. He did not feel good about himself until he straightened things out with God and confessed his sin. Secondly, looking good, feeling good, and doing bad. There are some who look good at all the time, and they feel good, but they are really doing bad. And either don't know it or they really don't care. A thief who steals your valuables to him to himself, he looks good and he feels good. But he's in a bad situation. The man who steals him, the man who steals him, your wife is looking good and feeling at least until he gets caught. He's looking good. Neither care about the fact that they are doing a, a bad thing. Sometimes, sometimes the apparent success of a situation can hide the fact that it is not a positive involvement. A person that gambles and wins frequently is both looking good and feeling good. But in fact, they don't even notice how gradually increased their gambling activities in both frequency and amount risk. They're in a bad situation, but you can't see it because they are feeling good and they are looking good. When Samson laid his head on the lava's lap, he was feeling good. The Bible says she was a beautiful woman. He was strong and powerful with ripping muscles. He was the perfect picture of a man that was looking good and feeling good, but he was actually in a bad situation. He didn't know how bad until he woke up that morning to learn that the beautiful woman he trusted had betrayed him. Only when he came to himself and he talked with God did he regain his strength. And thirdly, looking bad, yet feeling good. There are times when situations are extremely bad especially with respect to appearance. Sometimes a son or a daughter is falsely accused of a crime. Sometimes a family is viciously attacked and falsely accused. The bad publicity, rumors, ugly statements and comments of critics and enemies began to paint a bad picture. Believers have a strange way of feeling good even though things look bad. Our co-workers are amazed that we keep our composure and hold our heads up even though things look so bad. What makes a believer feel good even when things are bad is the knowledge that persecution, false accusations, and the degree of unsolicited trouble is an expected part of the Christian life. We remember Jesus in words in Matthew 5, 11 and 12, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 years was in a bad situation. She was sick but dealt with the problem by bringing it to Jesus. She said if I could just touch the hem of his garment, she said she believed that she would be made whole. Oh, my brothers and sisters, our bad situation, we need to give it to Jesus. If God has allowed us an agonizing situation, which is bad, do not despair. 
The same God who allowed the burden will help us bear the burden and reward us in the end. Our, our burdens may be bad to the public's eye. It may be bad as we live through it. Our God knows our burden bearing capacity. And he will put more, he won't put more on us than we can bear. Maybe that's what Roberta Martin had in mind when she wrote, think of times. You asked the question, down in your heart, now just what should I do? Then you can find in your friend and your loved one, but they have troubles too. There is a God who rules the earth and the heaven. In him there is relief from every pain and every care. For he knows, yes, he knows just how much we can bear. When we get in a bad situation, it's not always easy to start over again after the rug has been pulled from underneath us. Our faith face ourselves in the mirror after we messed up and made ourselves look bad. Clean up our act and live right after we live in the gutter of skin for a long time. Stay cool when things are heated up around us. Trust God with everything to be going wrong. That's the time we should say, I trust in the Lord wherever I may be. I want to lay out on the raging sea. Though the billows roll, he keeps my soul. My heavenly Father watches over me. Standing at the Red Sea, Moses was in a, a bad situation. But he said, stand still and see uh, the salvation of the Lord. Faced with advantage age in a new and uncharacter territory, Joshua was in a bad situation. But he said, as for me and uh, my house, uh, we will uh, serve the Lord. When both his health and his wealth was gone, Job was in uh, a bad situation. But he said, the Lord giveth, uh, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Down in the garden of Gethsemane, uh, Jesus uh, found himself uh, in a bad uh, situation. Uh, he prayed uh, to his father. He said, Father, uh, I don't want to go to Calvary, uh, but nevertheless, uh, not my will, uh, but let thy will be done. Uh, yes, yeah, they, they whipped him, uh, and they uh, spit on him. Uh, they placed a crown of thorns uh, on his head. Uh, they placed a purple robe uh, on his shoulders. Uh, they marched him uh, of judgment hall to judgment hall. Calvary was a bad situation and he died out on Calvary but early Sunday morning what was once a bad situation became a good situation. What was once a bad situation became a good looking situation for you and for me because early Sunday morning he from the grave with all power in his hand, power over all situations, power, healing power, yes, blind feeling power, yes, he rose from the grave with all power in his hand. I'm so glad that he died for me. I'm so glad that he died on Calvary. I'm so glad that they laid him in the borrowed tomb. But Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand, holding off power, soul saving power. A bad situation, a bad situation turned to a good situation. How to handle a bad situation? Whatever we go through, trust God for it. Whatever we do, Trust God for it. If you trust God for one thing, you can trust God for all things. Trust Him, believe in Him, dealing with a bad situation, we have to trust God. He's the only one that can help us to get through 
what we're going through. May God bless you and may God keep you. Amen.